Ezra, you completed the Worthy Life Award. Yes. Love for you to tell me a little bit about what your experience was like. What were some things that you did to earn the Worthy Life Award? Well, I had to plan an event that was helping my community so and raising awareness. So what I did is I made this event called a blindathon where people were blindfolded and they walked half a mile with a guide to raise awareness for the school in Zambia called Sisabello Saka. Very cool. And did you, as a part of the Word Life Award, uh, read some books of the Bible and memorize some verses from the Bible? Yes, I read m most of Matthew, okay. Philippians, and Ezra. Nice. It's a good, it's a good choice, Ezra, since you know, your name is Ezra. Um, you know, what, what would you say, Ezra, to other boys in our troop who might be thinking about doing the Worthy Life Award? How would you encourage them to pursue it? I think you sh even if you're feeling like, oh, it's getting boring, you should keep going because the end result is, like, you feel good about doing it and you feel like it helped you grow in your relationship with God. Awesome. Thanks, Ezra. appreciate your words. You're welcome. All right, Liam, I wanted to talk to you for just a minute about your experience with the Worthy Life Award. First off, that's a great thing that you accomplished, so I'm really, really proud of you for doing that. What are some things that you remember uh, working on toward earning the Worthy Life Award? Well, I had to do um, a prayer list, which is things you can pray about, like what you want your friends to do or if you want someone to get their salvation or something. Okay, so you were praying for some friends and some people that you knew that, mm -hmm. that they would come to know Jesus and and uh, that God would help them with different things. That's pretty cool. And um, we had the we had to watch a lamp lighter, which is a missionary thing mm -hmm. and you can learn about the missionaries and also what they were doing to do stuff for God. Okay. Was it ever hard when you were working on the Worthy Life Award? Did you ever feel like this is this is hard and maybe I don't want to keep going? Mm -hmm. What what kept you going? Actually, it was I don't know, just the whole thing. I knew, knew it was the I, right thing to I do. I knew that I would have a good finish line. All right. Awesome. I like that. Have a good finish line. So, what would you say, Liam, to some of the other boys in the troop about why it's good to pursue the Worthy Life Award? That like you're doing something good for God. Awesome. I love that. Thanks, Liam. All right, Aiden, thanks for being here. Just want to ask you a few questions about your experience with the Worthy Life Award. So what are what are some things you remember doing as you were working um, towards earning that award? I remember reading three books of the Bible. Yeah, what, what which three did you read? I read Ruth, Matthew, and... First Timothy. Okay, those are good picks. Why do you remember why you picked those? Was there a specific uh, reason? Um, I just thought I would do a gospel, mm -hmm. um, a shorter um, New Testament and a shorter Old Testament. Yeah, those are great picks. The Gospel of Matthew is one of my favorite books of the Bible, so good choice. So what are some things you would say to the other boys in the troop to encourage them to pursue the Worthy Life Award? It's a cool award to earn and um, you would be one of the first to earn it, and uh, it might take a little while, but at the end you'll feel that, it, that you'll have a award. Yeah, and, and did you find that doing those things kind of helped your relationship yeah. with God to become stronger? Yeah. Very cool. All right, thanks, Aiden. Appreciate you. All right, Caleb, thanks for uh, taking a moment to talk about the Worthy Life Award. So what are, uh, what are some things you remember being a part of your experience working towards that award? I remember helping with I Heart New Haven. It's an event where several churches get together and volunteer projects throughout New Haven. Okay. I helped clean out a school and painted some apartments. Nice. And when you did that, were you part of a team with some others from your church or from other churches? Yeah, I was a team with people from other churches. Very cool. That sounds pretty fun. And so you're an adventurer, so when you pursued the Worthy Life Award, some of the uh, tasks you had before you were a little bit more challenging. You had to read some books of the Bible, you had to do some studying of uh, certain topics, some scripture memorization. Do you remember any of the things that you worked on 
in that area? I led a Bible study with our family for 20 weeks. That's right. I remember you telling us about that. So that was like, that's a pretty big commitment to lead a Bible study for, yeah. for 20 weeks. Yeah, it felt it's like, like a long time. That's like almost half of an entire year. Yeah. And what was that like for you to lead, not just you know, your brother, but your mom and your dad, your whole family in that? Yeah, it was interesting because I'm used to listening to the pastor mm -hmm. or having our dad or mom lead the study. Yeah. And so it was a very different experience to be leading it for myself. Yeah, did that help you to, to gain some confidence? Yeah. Very cool. I love that. Um, yeah, what are some things you'd say to some of the other boys in the troop to encourage them to pursue the Worthy Life Award? Well, Trail Life's theme verse, Colossians 1.10, mm -hmm. commands us to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, bearing fruit in every good deed, and increasing in the knowledge of God. And I think the Worthy Life Award lays the groundwork for walking worthy. Yeah, awesome. I love that. And then uh, last question for you, Caleb. What are, what are some things that you've loved about your time in trail life? You've been with Troop 1635 since we started. You're one of the original guys. Yeah. So do you have any favorite memories or things that you've experienced over these years? I enjoyed going to Wind Farm for the rifle range. Mm. And the adventurers also did a ropes course together that I had a lot of fun on. Very cool. Thanks, Caleb. Yeah. Hey, Samuel, thanks for taking a moment to oh, talk no, about no. the Worthy Life Award. So can you share with me just a few of the things that you did as you were working towards that award? Okay, so each year during the summer, I, um, church has a sports camp, and my brother and I work on the audiovisual equipment cool. for the sports camp. It's about one week, and yeah, we work on the signs and so is that kind of like a almost like a vacation Bible camp for kids but yeah, with a sports like theme? That. Yeah. Okay, so younger kids come and they yeah. play sports and they learn about Jesus and you and your brother yeah, helped out to make it happen. Yeah. It's important to have good guys on the soundboard. If you have the wrong people on the soundboard, <laughs> things go real bad. What were some of the so a big part of the Worthy Life Award is, you know, growing as a disciple of Jesus. So in the Worthy Life Award, we study scripture, we memorize scripture, we read some books of the Bible. What were some of those things that you did that you can remember? So we have a Bible study called Mission 119, and it basically works through the entire Bible. Cool. A few, yeah, just like a few chapters every day. Mm -hmm. And there's a recording of a pastor who will preach on it, and we're on about week 70 of that now, so we started it kind of around the Worthy Life Award. And you're still going. And yeah, still going. That's cool. That's yeah. that's really neat. And um, was there is there like a certain theme to the Bible study, or is it all different kinds of topics that they talk yeah, about? Yeah, it's all different kind of. Yeah, kind of. We'll talk about the passage that you read. That day. okay, cool. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts, Samuel, on you know why pursuing the Worthy Life Award is a great thing for other boys in the troop to do? What would you say to encourage them? Well, it kind of lays the groundwork for um, for if you when you become older and stuff yep. of how you should kind of live your life as a Christian. It yeah. gets you in practice going to church and leading a Bible study and mm -hmm. working like that. So it's very helpful. That's a good way to build them. those disciplines and that foundation of your faith. And, yeah. you, and like I hear you saying, you grow on that yeah. as you grow older, which is a cool thing about the Worthy Life Award. It's one of the, you know, it's the award that you can earn at every um, age level throughout your life, which is really cool. Yeah. And what about um, you know just favorite memories that you have from participating in trail life? Do you have any um, events that stand out to you or things that you've worked on? I really liked all the camping trips that trail okay. life go. Um, those have been a lot of fun. I nice. also like the rifle range. Yeah. Awesome. All right, well, this is great. We have TC and Liam here to talk a little bit about their experience as a father and son in trail life, with a little bit of specific uh, notes about their experience with the Worthy Life Award. So maybe I'll start there. TC and Liam, what was it like for the two of you as father and son to kind of plan out the Worthy Life Award and the things you were going to do and then to go forward on that path together? You know, Liam tackled it right away, and I think he yep. actually earned his in the first part of the year. That's right. And Aiden being a mountain lion, it was a little bit more challenging for him, um, but he stuck to it, and he finished in the spring. He was really proud of both of them. Glad to see them continue on and meet those goals and yeah. grow in their relationship with the Lord. Um, exposure to his word and memorizing it. It was very, very rewarding as a father to see them both meet that goal. Awesome.
boys and young men need a call to something greater than themselves. This is The Trail Life. Trail Life USA.